small intellectually, politically, and economically insignificant Africa. But is that really true? Now, here are the facts. Africa has a total area space larger than all of Europe, China, and the United States of America combined. Yes, it is three times the area of China, three times the area of Europe, three times the area of the United States of America, meaning you can transplant China, Europe, and United States, and several other countries on the Africa continent, and they will fit neatly. Africa is 30.5 million square kilometers and a youthful population of 1.3 billion inhabitants. China is 9.6 million square kilometers and 1.4 billion inhabitants. India has a total space of 3.3 million square kilometers and 1.4 billion inhabitants. Now, yet, Africa is projected as overpopulated and pressure mounts on Africans and their leaders to depopulate. Why? <laughs> Why? Now, please note, Africa is home to 60% of the world's arable land, 90% of raw material reserve, 40% of gold reserve, 33% of diamond reserve, 95% of platinum reserve, and holds the largest bauxite reserves in the world. Of course, in addition to manganese, woods, uranium, crude oil, and others. Yet, the continent is touted as the poverty capital of the world and ripe for depopulation. The question is, why? Well, President Jacques Chirac of France provides an illuminating insight. He said, We bled Africa for four and a half centuries. We looted their raw materials. Then we told lies that the Africans are good for nothing. In the name of religion, we destroyed their culture. And after being made rich at their expense, we now steal their brains through miseducation and propaganda to prevent them from enacting black retribution against us." Unquote. Well, put simply, for over four centuries, Africa is not in control of its resources. Look, a 2016 study of Africa by the NGO called War on Want reveals that 101 companies, mostly British, control $305 billion worth of platinum, $276 billion worth of oil, and $216 billion worth of coal at 2016 market prices. Yes, they own mines or mineral licenses in 37 African countries and control vast swath of Africa's land, four times the size of the United Kingdom. Now look, Africa subsidizes the rest of the world by $32 billion annually. A 2017 report by Global Justice Now and other groups estimates that $161.6 billion enter into Africa, while $202.9 billion leave Africa almost every year. For example, in 2017, Africa received a total of $19.7 billion in aid, but paid back $18 billion in debt repayments. Debt burden is killing Africa. African governments have borrowed between 25 and 75 percent of their GDP, but with little or nothing to show for it. Africans in the diasporas remit not less than $32 billion annually, but multinational companies siphon $32.4 billion in profits and illicit financial outflows. Look, an estimated $29 billion are stolen via illegal logging, fishing and poaching annually. How can any continent, country or people accumulate and sustain wealth, growth and prosperity with such statistics? That's a great question. Well, look, hopefully, now you know your Africa better. Edmond Mbiaka once wrote, Peace of mind always comes with knowing who you truly are. 
where you currently stand, where you positively need to be, and strongly believing in its possibility. Africa needs to control its resources, no doubt. For productive, patriotic, and effective leadership, we need our best and ablest citizens with fortified character in local, state, and federal governments. This must be given utmost consideration in upcoming elections across Africa. Let me say it once more, our problem is not the age of our leaders, but unfortified character. It is your responsibility to protect and defend your Africa. The starting point is to educate and transform the mindset of our leaders and peoples. Look, the least you can do is to assist with ensuring that this message reaches every African. Slavery destroyed us. Religion divided us. Ignorance controls us. And truth scares us. With these retrogressive forces, Africa will remain a dark continent. So we must renew our minds. Please share this video in support of my efforts at reconstructing Africa through mindset transformation. You see, together, we will reconstruct Africa and take charge of our destiny. For who controls Africa controls the world. I thank you.